right over right here. here. This is where Seth was hit. This is where he died. Yeah, he died right here. Yeah. The corner of 9th Avenue and 53rd Street brings a flood of emotion for Deborah and Harold Kahn. Their son Seth was run over by a city bus that was going too fast in 2009. They helped form the group Families for Safe Streets. Seth was my only child, you know, and he was my whole life. We decided that we wanted to help other people and create a city where this wouldn't happen to other people and we could do something about it. Their group is behind the efforts of New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, who recently signed legislation aiming to eliminate all pedestrian deaths. Last year, 286 people were killed in traffic accidents in the city. In a city as big and complicated as this, it's not easy, but we did not come here, any of us, to do easy things. We came here to do things that would actually help people. Among the package of new laws is a crackdown on bad taxi drivers and reducing the city's default speed limit to 40 kilometers an hour. Speed limits are a big part of improving road safety. It makes sense. The faster a car goes, the more damage it's likely to cause. One study found that reducing speed limits in the city by about 15 kilometers an hour would substantially reduce the number of deaths. The new laws also have the support of city cyclists who know the hazards of interacting with traffic all too well. Cyclist and blogger Doug Gordon says raising public awareness of the new laws will be a big part of improving safety. You've seen actually real improvements since 2007, 2008 in the number of cyclists getting injured. Partially that's because of the better bike lanes that we have all over the place, the separated infrastructure. Partially that's because there are just more people out. So drivers are more used to seeing lots of cyclists and are more careful around them. Now, sometimes a pedestrian will wave me on. It's their right to cross first. But and soon motorists right. will be seeing more police officers giving traffic tickets to enforce the new laws. The cons say it's a small price to pay for safer streets. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.